Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. In this short video, I'm going to quickly show you how to paraphrase an IELTS Speaking Part 1 question. The examiner will be particularly impressed if you're able to paraphrase their question rather than repeating the vocabulary they used. You don't need to do this for every question, but it's definitely something you should try to do when it's easy to use synonyms for key words. Have a look at this part one question with the two sample answers. Which is the best answer and why? Question. Have you visited any foreign countries? Answer. Yes, I've visited two foreign countries, the UK and Egypt. My favourite foreign country was the UK because it's so different to my own country. Another country I want to visit is France. Answer two. Yes, I've been abroad a couple of times, first to the UK, then to Egypt. I particularly enjoyed the UK because it's so different to my own country. I'd also love to travel to France. Pause the video for a moment while you think about it. Answer two is best. Both versions answer the question, but answer one repeats the verb to visit and the words foreign and countries several times, all of which are in the question. You can see them here, underlined and in blue. In answer two, the question's been paraphrased with the synonym abroad and to travel has been used instead of to visit. I've made these bold so they stand out for you. Take a moment to really focus on these differences. Also, compare the language used to express which country was their favourite. The final sentence, about where the speaker would like to visit next, is not strictly necessary, but is in the context of the question, so it's fine. It also enables the speaker to use the future tense. With the variation in vocabulary, answer two flows much better than answer one. Fluency is one of the marking criteria, so the changes may gain you marks here as well as for grammar and vocabulary. Try reading them yourself to experience how different they feel to actually say out loud. Well, that's it. I said it was a short video, but I do look at paraphrasing in several different sections of the website, so you'll be learning more about it soon. Thanks for watching and goodbye until next time.